Geeks. Gonna show you Ghetto S mod for stock Intel CPU cooler. And uh, all it is is a tube to help direct the air around the heat sink more. Uh, this would be called, I guess, a stator. And uh, the idea is like in a jet engine, they have a turbine, which would be the fan in there. And they also have stator blades that uh, prevent the air from rotating too much. And it just keeps the air going straight through instead. It's more efficient that way. And uh, I actually got some surprising results with this. So what I have here is real temp. And heavy load. So we can put a load on the CPU here. Test it out. So we have uh, 45, 46 at the most on the cores at idle. I don't have much running. Very little usage of the CPU. This is a uh, used PC I bought. It's an i7-930. It's been mildly overclocked probably 300 megahertz uh, by the guy who sold it to me got a really good deal on it got an SSD for booting a couple of hard drives there it's got a uh, actually a really nice Intel motherboard there and uh, so there's our idle temperatures and I'll just uh, reset this yeah, it idles at 45, 46 at the most. And uh, here we'll just pull this up. Basically it just presses onto the uh, plastic bracket on the stock cooler. So uh, this shouldn't be enough to obstruct the uh, stock cooler enough to really affect it. So we'll take that off and see if the uh, idle changes a little bit. And, uh, not really. Yeah, actually, no, not much. A little bit, yeah. Maximum 47. Yeah, it actually did go up a degree on the one core. Yeah, you can't expect too much of a change with, you know, there's a little bit of uh, spikes in the usage there. But anyway, I'm going to slap this back on and put the CPU under load for a few minutes here. And I'll start that up. There we go. Got a 100% load on that. In just a minute or so, you'll see a difference, sure. So, yeah, pretty heavy with the system. Got a, just hooked up to a 60 hertz Toshiba television. Works pretty damn good. Got my home built speakers and a little amp to run it. The guy uh, threw in a pretty cool keyboard, my uh, ancient Microsoft mouse, the old laser mouse, thing refuses to die, it's like 10 years old now, so we're coming up on a minute here, and uh, hitting 63, I'll let it go for a minute and a half here. See what we get. And here we go. And we'll stop that right at a minute and 30. And uh, we'll let the uh, idle temperature go down a bit too. 